right now I'm in a situation where I feel as though I didn't know they was gonna be listening. But um, I'm going through a lot right now. 21, um, no real love, no real um, relationship or anything like that. I find it rather hard to um, try to put myself in a predicament where, or in a, um, just a position where um, I can be in a relationship with someone, I can love someone and, and have that person um, love me back which is the issue that I keep running into. Just at this current point in my life, I feel somewhat unlovable. At least um, unlovable in the way that I would like to be loved. Like I, I got support from my family. A lot of people don't have that. So that that's, you know, that's great. Um, I got some acquaintances online and stuff like that. But as far as, you know, an actual relationship I've actually never really had a solid relationship and now that I'm 21 it just feels that like damn you know if it ain't happened by now like at all <laughs> I just don't know if it's meant for me or, or not I just don't feel that anybody could love me in my current state you know what I'm saying I just feel like I, I can't I don't have a whole lot to bring to the table I mean I got a job got a car stay with my moms but you know I pay rent and stuff but at the same time it just feels that it, it just feels as though I don't know man it's July 4th by the way I'm supposed to be out there in the park 2016 I'm supposed to be out there having a good time but I'm sitting here wallowing in misery and I know it seems crazy but at the same time, it just feels as though I'm just not happy, you know, and I shouldn't be reliant upon somebody else to make me happy or make me whole, but at the same time, damn, like, <laughs> girls are wanting dudes this six foot, I'll never be six foot, super strong, muscular, I'm not that. Um, one dudes that, you know, spit game to them. They want to be in love with a guy. They want a, a guy that can um, test the emotions. Guys that can um, make them want them. I don't think anybody looks at me and thinks, oh my God, he is so sexy. I want, I want to, I want to be with him on that level. I don't think, I don't think anybody thinks like that when they look at me. You know, I think they think maybe he's a good person or he's annoying as hell. I mean. <laughs> That's all I ever really get. I just don't think that somebody can look at me the way they would look at somebody that they want to be intimate with. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that I have the characteristic characteristics to display that kind of um, nature and, and woo somebody like that. I just don't think I have that. It's crazy, but it, a lot of it is within myself. Goodness. The show hasn't even started yet. And they just getting warmed up. But yeah, and I feel it when I'm in a crowd of people. I feel unworthy. I just... I felt this way all my life. I mean, growing up, girls, they wouldn't, they never really gravitated towards me as much as I would have wanted. I'm, I was never a Casanova, you know, Mr the heartthrob I was never that damn sweating like a mug too <laughs> talking about it I'm trying to look clean and stuff like that trying to be presentable but at the same time I'm dealing with a lot of issues I'm dealing with a lot of um, self-esteem issues but I'm, I'm, I have confidence you know I'm, I'm a easygoing guy it's just girls want somebody who can really be a protector, who can be a provider. They don't look at that when they look at a guy who's 5'6", 130 pounds of sticks and stones. But at the same time, it's like, damn, I'm still lonely. I still have these feelings, you know. I can't just shut it out. 
I don't want to complain. I don't want to sound like the guy. He's tried his whole life and they just don't love me, but I think, can, can, I, can I blame them? You know, when there's all these other guys who are ready to give these girls the world and six figures and making all these salaries and houses and I'm still living in a three bedroom apartment. I got a good heart. I'm loyal. <laughs> You ain't gonna catch me. I ain't gotta worry about me cheating. Who I'm gonna cheat with? My shadow. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just guys like me, we end up either being the best friend or a distant acquaintance. That's it. Never the love interest. Unless it's a girl that's trying to get with anybody. And even then, she'll ditch me when she moves on to the next. Like the next guy that she sees walking, she's gonna go jump to him. I'm getting bit up by these firing and these motherfuckers right here. God, man. Ain't no joke, man. They like, this is our territory. Get your ass on off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't feel I have what it takes. I'm not spitting the same lines. I'm not like, hey, shout Let me get your number. You know? Matter of fact, they don't even ask for your number no more. Let me get your instant. Let me get, let me get it in that DM. You feel me, shot like, it ain't nothing, like, we could do whatever, you know. I, I can't do it, I can't, I can't even do it. Even me trying to be a, uh, I just can't do it. I, I was never that guy, I mean, I love, I do love. It's just, it's one thing to love somebody, it's another thing for somebody to love you back. You know what I'm saying, I've never had that. Never, never, never known love. Like that, on that level, I, I've never had that. So I don't even know how to act when I get in that predicament. Like when I get in that relation, that one-on-one. -on -one and All this rambling, maybe that's why I'm single, I don't know. But I think that the issue really lies within myself and I gotta figure out a way to look past my insecurities, um, accept the things that can I change, have the courage to change things that I can and go out and do that and then having the wisdom to know the difference and applying it because that's what's really going to count. God damn. God damn. Anyway. I don't know. My finger in the way. Let me get it out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sitting here. Thoughts, pondering. Hopefully I can look back on this video a few years from now and be like, hey, that was me then. I, you know, I got, I got the love of my life. I only want one. I don't need no, you know, revolving door of chicks. I mean, people come and go, but and maybe it's because I'm picky. I mean, it's not that I have much to choose from, but at the same time, I'm just like, before I can really click with somebody, I, I, it has to be so many check marks. So many things have to pass through, and I guess that there's not enough girls that is willing to be with me that I'm willing to be with, and or maybe they do exist, and I just don't know. I just don't know them. <laughs> this golly, that's why I was feeling that way. Dang mosquito! Oh shit, I'm getting bit up. Like, golly, I found that it was on my. It was a little green little bug on my hand, biting. As I look down, I'm like, man, something pinching me. And right now I itch like hell. Let me scratch that mother. Scratch it on the backside. Hey. But yeah. I'm dealing with it. Dealing with it. It's honest thoughts and views of a 21 year old. 21 looking like 17. <laughs> That's another reason why I'm not being able to pull these chases. They, they think I'm still in junior high school. Can I blame them? Hell no, look. That's it, facial hair. Military's to blame for that because they don't let me keep it. It's really difficult to see the good that's within oneself when no one else seems to pick up on it. And all they do is point out your flaws. It's hard to... And when you're like me and you're depending on them to validate yourself, oh my God, you just run in circles. So, 
these are the issues that I'm dealing with. I just I feel like I don't. If I stay this way, I'm, I'm not gonna ever find love at all. So I gotta get out and do something because it's just gonna stay this way if I don't do anything. And I've learned that if I just sit and wait and sit on my ass and not do anything, it's not an angel sent from heaven. Like I think it's hypothetical. I don't really believe in love at first sight unless I'm seeing somebody at a certain convention, like I'm a fan of something and they're a fan of something and they're looking at me a certain way, I'm looking at them a certain way and it's like, oh my God. Then they're not single. No, wait, they are single. They're not taken, um, which is another big thing. And they're they're non-smokers, which is another big thing. Cause I'm, I'm, uh, I don't like smoking. Then it might be love at first sight, but even then, I mean, I, I gotta know so much more before I even try to apply myself. And then am I your type? You know, cause that, that's, um, I think that's the biggest stumbling block is that I'm not their type. And then it's like, oh, okay. So I look, I'm like, whose type am I? Like, <laughs> where they at? You know, so. 21, 21. Looking about 14, July 4th. I'm supposed to be somewhere in Cancun right now, partying, living it up time of my life I guess but instead I'm sitting here upset mad at, mad at the world mad at my situation so that sound real nice right about now I don't know just just certain thoughts that I'm dealing with certain certain things that, and I overthink everything and overanalyze everything so that's another big thing maybe I, I just want to be perfect so bad that it prevents me from even getting started <laughs> a lot of my friends are married a lot of them are Christian and the only way they can have sex is if they get married so they're married <laughs> and then I went to basic with a lot of people who are active duty and active duties you know they married at 19 my parents married at um, they married at 21 my parents married at 21 my mom had me at 22 true story so yeah people younger than me it's a good thing it's July 4th and I'm not <laughs> somewhere else and it's and it's not July 4th is that would be really bad right about now stop it I'm going to be miserable as hell when I go into work tomorrow. That's another place, work. I work with a whole bunch of 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds. Many of them are single, but I'm young enough to be their grandson and son. I'm actually younger than one of them's son. She's really fine, but she's already told me. But see, I didn't ask. That's the crazy thing. I didn't even qualify myself to her, and she told me no. I didn't even... I, didn't even, I hate when it happens, like... I didn't submit an application. Why are you rejecting an application I never even submitted? I didn't even go for you. And you still tell me no. So just in case you was thinking of it. Hell no. And I'm just like, oh, thanks. You know, that, that makes me feel even ten times better. You know? I don't know. I just don't play the same game that they play. And then girls don't look at me and think, Sexy. They don't look at me and they think, and they get, you know, emotional like that. They don't think that when they think of me. For the most part, yeah. Yeah, we've done. Yeah, we've done it for two years, right here. So. Oh yeah, definitely. We went down there and we turned around. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have some company. 
We're gonna have some company. She was like, is the view good from here? And I was like, y'all, yeah. like we've done it for two years. Oh my God. You should check it out like on New Year's, like get you a coat and some shit, like get you a uh, thermal. We in Georgia, it's not that bad. Oh, sh let me, let me go, man. Let me, let me get out of here. Y'all got some off. But yeah, these, these are the thoughts I'm dealing with. Pray for me, y'all. Hope for me, wish for me, do whatever you can. Send, send, some, send something my way. And I guess it is all hypothetical at the end of the day. But just, just say a prayer for your boy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going through it right now. And I just, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Let's hope it gets better. Let's hope I find somebody. Somebody who will love me back. <laughs> I dare you. I dare you to love love somebody like me.